What's up guys, this is The Honest Outlaw here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the M&P Shield EZ380. Now before we do that, I wanna mention my Patreon supporters, I thank you very much for supporting the channel. I appreciate it, and because of that, we do a monthly giveaway for you guys. This month's giveaway item is going to be the Peltor Electronic Ear Pro. I also want to mention Ambo.com, they're another supporter of the channel, and because of that they leave a link in the description to give you guys $20 off an order of 200 bucks that you want to spend on ammo. I also want to mention my Instagram, if you don't follow me over there, follow me on Instagram. What is the M&P Shield 380? It is a single stack polymer frame pistol that is chambered in 380. It comes with two eight round 380 magazines. It has a grip safety, a manual safety, it has pretty low recoil and a weight of around 18 ounces, making it very light, but yet still pretty capable. This gun is geared toward concealed carry for newer shooters or for smaller statured people, and in that, it does an excellent job. As I said, it runs the 380 in a size of gun that you would see similar for nine millimeters. Like, the weight is about the same as the new Glock 43X, and it's actually similar in size as well. However, it's chambered in a smaller, lighter recoiling caliber. In case you have arthritis or in case you're recoil sensitive in any way, this 380 is gonna recoil a lot less than most nine millimeters, even full-size guns, especially for a small compact carry gun. Now you are gonna be sacrificing some power with that 380 round, but with this pistol, it was 100%. And that doesn't really surprise me actually because M&Ps just have a way of working. The durability on this pistol, however, does seem a little bit cheap. Okay. That's never happened before. <laughs> Some of the controls on it, I'm going to be honest, seem a little bit cheap and they seem a little bit cheesy. The safety on the CZ, or on the EZ, not CZ, is the same safety that comes on the standard M&Ps. And it is very positive and very tactile. I like that. But it also is polymer and it does have kind of a flimsy feel to it. So could you break this if you were to drop this gun? I think that's possible. Also, the grip safety feels kind of gross to me. I don't love grip safeties, although the 1911 is my favorite gun. I would prefer them without grip safeties, honestly, because if you grab the gun at an awkward angle in any way, uh, you may not defeat that grip safety, and the gun might not go off when you want it to. Upside of a grip safety is it may not go off when you don't want it to. So if you have it in a purse or if you're carrying it without a holster in some way, you may want that grip safety, especially if you're an inexperienced concealed carrier. Now, one thing I do like is they, they did increase the serrations here on the rear of the pistol, so it's a little bit easier to rack. Also, the spring weight on the gun is very light, so the... Uh, slide is very easy to use and the slide release is also very easy to use. You're gonna find a common theme with the Smith & Wesson EZ that it's pretty easy to use. So the magazines are also very easy to load. A lot of people, especially with weaker fingers, have a real problem jamming uh, nine millimeter rounds into magazines. So with this, you have the load assist device, similar to like a uh, 22 pistol, and you can just work that down as you load the magazines, and it makes it a lot easier and a lot simpler. It's actually pretty fast too, so this was kind of a delight to shoot on the range. The recoil is very minimal. The texture is very nice. It's actually pretty good. I like this texture. If I had this on a concealed carry pistol, I would not hate this. And M&Ps are really good for texture already. They really dumbed it down though for this one, and I think they did a great job. The trigger is not articulating big fan of that. I know it's probably because they added this safety, the grip safety, to make it drop safe, because without the trigger safety, you probably have some drop safe issues, but I like the fact that it doesn't have that articulating trigger. For one reason or another, I absolutely hate that. So now we're out here with the Smith & Wesson EZ, the uh, Shield 380, and we're going to see if we can hit it 50 yards, although I'm not promising anything, because I was having a little bit of trouble with the uh, accuracy of this gun. I don't know if it's me, I don't know if it's a trigger pull or what, but it seems to be shooting pretty wide left, and usually that's a problem with trigger control, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, never mind. Or not.
I shot it at 50 yards, and I had some hits there, some hits here. Not the most accurate gun by any means. And I think the reason for that was, even though it's got three-dot sights here, I was having a problem with them because there's zero air. And it just all looks like kind of one big block. At speed, I had an issue telling the difference sometimes and telling where that front sight is because they all look the same. I actually like my front sight to be high definition because the other sights are just superficial and they don't really matter to me. So I don't like that they're so tight and I don't really like this particular style. If I was going to carry this, I would change the sights, but I know most of you won't because this is a pocket rocket and you're going to use it up close anyway. You have eight rounds of 380, so even though you could pop them off pretty quickly, I would still prefer a slightly higher capacity for my personal concealed carry gun, but let's be real. This isn't geared towards me. This is geared toward your grandma, toward your your wife to your son any person that's not used to pistols or guns of any kind and they had a bad experience and they want to get a gun that they can use and they can be safe with this is what this is designed for and for that I really thank Smith & Wesson because I know a lot of you guys look down on stuff like this but people with disabilities people with arthritis those are the type of people that really need protection because they can't defend themselves with hand-to-hand -hand combat or knives or broomsticks or whatever you carry on you but this gun to me is designed for the perfect niche of people that may be too concerned or too afraid to get any other type of gun. And this, I really believe, will save people's lives. So I applaud Smith & Wesson for making this type of gun and gearing it toward a market that I don't think a lot of people gear firearms to. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help out your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.